Hey tech fans, welcome back to another video. Today we will be installing macOS Sierra Developer Preview 1 on our Hackintoshes. Now if you already have macOS installed on your computer, then you'll save a lot of time. If you're coming from Windows, I'll explain how you can make a macOS USB installer using Windows in just a minute. Let's run over the files that we will be needing. You'll first need to download the files found in the description below. Those files include macOS Sierra Developer Preview 1, the bootloader Clover, Clover Configurator, and the fake SMC text. You also are going to be needing a flash drive that has at least 8 gigabytes of storage available. Given macOS Sierra it takes up about 5 and a quarter gigs. Let's get started. Now like I said, I came from Windows so I went ahead and watched my video again on how to make a macOS USB installer using Windows. Once you are booted into macOS, then we can get started. First, open the macOS Sierra DMG file and copy the application to your applications folder. Now we need to open up Disk Utility, then we will need to partition our flash drive to have a GUID partition table instead of master boot record. I changed the name of my flash drive to USB so it will be easier for me to type in later. I advise you do the same as it's going to be easier typing in the commands. This will in fact wipe your flash drive so you'll need to back up your files to keep them safe. After we've done this we can go ahead and make our installer. Now I'm a nice person and I put the command in the description below so you can just copy the command and paste it into terminal. If your flash drive has a different name instead of USB you'll need to replace USB with the device's name. Press enter and you'll need to type in your password. Don't worry because you don't see the asterisk indicating your password. After you're done, press enter and type in the letter Y and press enter. This will wipe the drive again and give it a new name which is install Mac OS X. This part will take some time so please be patient. It took me about 20 minutes to transfer the install files. In that time you could subscribe to my channel. There's an idea. When this is done, we can move on to the bootloader, which is Clover. Open the Clover package that you downloaded earlier, and before pressing install, click on Change Install Location. This is where you select your flash drive, not your install partition. You can tell which one's your flash drive by checking the total storage of the drive. After you selected your drive, press Continue, then press Customize. You'll want to first check Install for UEFI booting only then scroll down and open the driver 64 UEFI drop-down and check both OS X APTIO fix DRV-64 and partition DXE-64 now you can press install okay you're almost done making the install USB we just have a little bit more to go and then you're done and you can install Mac when Clover is finished installing you'll see a new partition of your flash drive called EFI. This is the bootloader and this is where we're going to use Clover Configurator. You want to first open up the EFI partition and go into the EFI folder, Clover folder, and drag config.plist onto Clover Configurator. In Clover Configurator, in the sidebar, there is a system parameters option. Click the drop down for inject text and select yes. Make sure that you save this file then you can exit Clover Configurator. Now we need to open the kex folder, the other folder, and copy over the fake SMC kex that we downloaded earlier. Okay, you're done making the installer for Mac OS Sierra. Now we move on to part 2 which is installing the operating system. I didn't want Clover to override the Windows Partitions bootloader so I simply unplugged the SATA out of my main SSD. So only the Mac SSD is getting Clover installed to. This is a beta operating system and will have a bunch of issues as it's the first developer preview. You can subscribe and I'll show you how to install Mac OS Sierra after the operating system is fully released. Now let's get started with installing the operating system. First we will need to restart the computer with the install flash drive inserted and access the boot menu. You will need to select the UEFI version, not the legacy BIOS version or this may not work. After this and Clover loads up, which is the bootloader, you can simply select the install volume 
If you need to input arguments into the bootloader, you can click on the cog to open the options menu. There, you want to click boot args and type in your flags at the end of the string. Once done, press return and select the boot OS X install option. This is your flash drive and you'll need to select that. Mac OS will take a very long time to load up. There is a known issue about iCloud something that will be causing the slowdown. But once you're in, you can install Mac OS Sierra. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any issues regarding this install, you can always send me a comment down below. Anyways, make sure that you guys are subscribed for more content. Hope my video helped you out. And I actually have something to tell you guys about. I'm launching a web hosting company. You'll never guess the name, Mark Web Hosting. Anyways, if you guys want to help support the channel, meaning more content on the channel, uh, and support me for making these videos, head on over to markwebhosting.com. Once I get enough clients, I'll be able to bring the web hosting prices down. After I receive at least 10 clients, my goal is to bring the prices down to about $2 a month for the cheapest plan. That will be the cheapest hosting I've ever seen. And as an added bonus, you get to help support the channel. Once again, thank you guys for watching and you guys have a great day.